Hey guys, and welcome back again with the next episode of Rio Bravo, as promised. <laughs> and uh, in this episode, as I told you in the last one, um, we are making the Elixir Ride, which is one of my favorite. That that ride, those lightnings, and, and oh, it's so awesome. Not that I would ride it in real life, as I said, because I think I would die. I, I really would die. <laughs> it's going so fast, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, so this ride, and in the end, you will also see, I think it was a loop-de-loop. -loop. I still say the loop-de-loop, -loop, but I don't know if that's the coaster name, but you will probably correct me if I'm wrong, and I don't mind, because I'm just like making the coasters but i'm not very interested in the name oh, that sounds so bad but it is um and um i did put in a half pov <laughs> because um yeah as, as you know i i normally don't make any pov uh at, at least i said i don't make a pov until everything is finished and uh i know um i just wanted to put something in and while i was recording that with cheat engine and dx3 uh i found out that um yeah some of the trees are really in the way of the track and uh yeah so it needs a lot of um finishing touch and scenery around it as well so it's only a half one and please don't shoot me that it's not the best coaster i know i am bad at making coasters but i just enjoy it very much so i don't really care <laughs> i should ask still for some help i guess <laughs> uh so half pov and don't shoot me because yeah it's just not that good probably um and um yeah i i wrote down some comments uh, let's see uh because ingmar uh ingmar van Spenge, he asked me did you use the new controller feature for the cinematic shots well um we have a controller but um yeah when i'm playing planet coaster my boyfriend is playing on the xbox <laughs> so it's not very easy to use the same controller but um, I'm definitely uh, gonna buy my own controller in, um, yeah, well, I, at least I, tr I will try to buy one in May when I buy my new computer as well. Uh, because I'm very, very curious how this will look with the controller cinematic shots. But for now, because uh, I was recording the cinematic shots of this, this last video, and I found out that the park is really, uh, yeah, it's getting big. And it is a little bit lagging when I use Cheat Engine and the X3. I don't know if you will see it in the cinematic shots because, you know, I always uh, speed it up. Uh, but yeah, I, I have no idea um, if you will notice that. But I can feel while recording that it's getting a little bit worse. And even with the building... Uh, so yeah, uh, we just have to deal with it and just only one, one and a half month and then I hopefully have my new computer. Someone else asked, do you already have your new computer? No, I don't. I'm waiting uh, till uh, May and I hope I have the money at that point to buy the new computer. And maybe you also heard about the uh, advertisers boycott. I think they call it the adpocalypse and uh so yeah it's it's um yeah it's it, uh, i don't know it's it's just very bad that some advertisers uh, uh pulled them off uh youtube um so yeah some of, i'm not living off youtube so it for me it's not really that big of a problem only maybe for saving for my computer but uh, yeah well this is not my my job even though i would love to make it my job but for some people it's really a problem at this point because they don't get that much income as they normally do so yeah i, I really hope at least for the bigger youtubers that really live on youtube uh, that it will be fixed soon and the advertisers will come back if you don't know what I'm talking about, you, you should definitely check out PewDiePie. He made, uh, I think, two or three videos about it. And uh, yeah, it, it sucks. It sucks. That's all I can say. <laughs> and uh, let's just all keep our fingers crossed that they will get back to us. And then I hopefully can stop working one or two days a week. But I don't know if that will be still a thing. 
it's like your dream falling apart a little bit because of the advertisers but yeah i'm not that big so i can't complain that much like other people's can do so yeah you don't hear me about this ever again i guess um uh, so yeah but but still i have my plan to buy the new computer in may maybe i need to uh, uh put in some more savings that i wanted to but uh, i will just i'll just have to see how i just want in the computer <laughs> um and also um i got nicholas labe with the new no scenery collision can you go on water with coasters i'm i'm trying i, I think i will make a small video to show you guys what you can do because you can do amazing stuff i haven't really tried it out on uh Rio Bravo only with the train track going over a path that messes up a little bit of the path itself because you really can't connect anything else or you can't change the color of the uh, the path but um, yeah it really really works very nice and um, yeah you have awesome features with the um, water rapid and the lock flume you can now put them in the water so it really looks like they are ending in the water so that is really a nice feature but uh, yeah i i was looking at rio bravo the lock flume and i was like no i'm not gonna change all of it because <laughs> that will be so much work so i'm not gonna try it over here but i might do a small video to show you guys what you can do with uh, no collision i don't even know if i pronounced that right <laughs> but uh, yeah i will try to make some kind of video for it so you guys can see what you can do with it if you haven't seen it yet um the matthijs bastian says i started a parking planet coaster but i'm not that good with detailing uh, detailing buildings do you have any tips for it i think i mentioned it before but um i think the best thing to do is just watch other people's videos other people's workshop items and see how people use certain items to create stuff like uh, for example of course silverat and rudy ran camel are really really good in making stuff you haven't gotten plant coaster with kind of shapes and and it really looks so awesome and those guys really inspire me a lot with using pieces a different way like you would normally use them so yeah i, I think the best thing to do is just go and check out other youtubers and uh, other workshop items that is my best tip i can give you guys <laughs> Um, I'm not really, I don't really have that much time to uh, record all the talky talky talk. So I'm gonna keep it for now uh, and I'm gonna play lots of Planet Coaster soon again and make awesome videos for your guys. Of course, I will try to do that. And I really hope you like this one. And again, please don't shoot me by the POV. <laughs> there will be, of course, as promised, in the end when the park is totally finished, will be lots of POV videos of all the rides and um, then it will be kind of perfect. I want to say perfect, but no, it's not gonna be perfect. <laughs> okay, but thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy playing Planet Custody Update, of course. And I really hope to see you in the next episode. Bye guys.